Are your hormones getting you down? Almost all of my patients and everyone around me is saying that they just don't feel themselves. They're feeling more run down. Stress is really getting to them. They're having difficulty losing weight, especially that spare tire around the midsection. Their menopausal symptoms are just crazy. And as the weather gets warmer, they're only going to get worse. My male patients are feeling more fatigued. They're unable to maintain that lean muscle mass. They just don't have that drive that they used to have. Or for my fertility patients, they're having a difficult time conceiving. What I wanted to educate you on today, and what I hope you'll do when you watch the rest of this video, is understand how your hormones work from a biological perspective, so that maybe you can start gaining some control in your own personal life, or of course, you can always contact me, Dr. Andrea Maxim, I'm a naturopathic doctor, and we can figure it out for you, and we can do a number of tests that I will also discuss at the end of this video. So why don't we get started? Now you'll see here, cholesterol is the building block to all of the other hormones. And what that means is you need to be consuming healthy fats and healthy cholesterol just to create the basic amount of hormones that your body needs on a daily basis. Do not give in to those low fat, no fat diets because they are not going to help you when it comes to hormonal balance. Now the next step you'll see is cortisol will turn into a molecule called pregnenolone. Pregnenolone is a key molecule for understanding the balance between our hormones because pregnenolone can choose to either become progesterone and then cortisol, cortisol being our stress hormone, or it will become our reproductive hormones, DHEA, estrogen, and testosterone. Now the key thing about this, and that I have to remind all of my patients, is that stress always has to be managed. And no matter what we do, we always have to be treating those adrenal glands, which are what create our stress hormone, if we want to get any sort of hormonal balance back into play. The reason being is this. If your body finds a certain area that requires more supply and demand, it is always going to try to fulfill that order before it fulfills balance. So if your stressors are high and they don't have to be a negative stressor, even just being a parent or working in a busy job, even if you love it like I do, or commuting from place to place, those are all little stressors that will accumulate. And we need to remember that the more stress we have in the body, the more resources it's using up, the more our body then has to create that supply and demand. So when cortisol levels are high, what's going to happen is pregnenolone will have to be shifted to fulfill that cortisol need. When that happens, when that pregnenolone steal occurs, it tends to reduce the amount of reproductive hormones that we create. And this is where the problem happens. So for those individuals that are trying to conceive and you're having difficulties and you know that the stressors are high and even just trying to conceive on its own can create its own stress, we have to be managing those adrenal glands before we can ever get the whole hormonal pathway to shift across the board to be on that equilibrium phase instead of that supply or demand phase. So when it comes to testing, what I always recommend my patients to do is a very simple urine test that we can do in office. And that in office test will allow me to see if the adrenal glands are hyper functioning, meaning overactive, that worried wired presentation, or they're under functioning, being hypoactive, which is getting into more of that um, chronic fatigue state or exhaustion. That's very, very simple that we can do in office. But the big test that I love my patients to get done, whether male or female, is a salivary hormone panel. And that salivary hormone panel will test all five of those major hormones you saw on that diagram. It'll test progesterone, cortisol, estrogen, testosterone, and DHEA, which really allows me as your naturopath to map out where the imbalances are happening. And for my male patients, I find this incredibly important because we need to be keeping your testosterone levels adequate throughout your entire life because it is so vitally important for your long-term health. If you have any questions or concerns about any of these tests, or you wanted to even ask me how I can help you with your hormone health, please don't hesitate to contact me. 
my website and my contact number coming up next. I certainly look forward to hearing from you and as always have a happy and healthy day.